YouTube, Josh Share from the J side. Friday? It's actually Friday. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, how about that rainstorm? Huh? That was pretty crazy. So that's the things that happen when you're on a multi-state road trip in the middle of summer. Anyway, so where did we leave off last time? Uh, I believe the last J side Friday, I was in a hotel. Comfy one. Being all fancy pants. Um, yeah, so that was in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, let's just get right to business. We did a lot of stuff in, in like a week. I think I'm going to have to split this up a little bit because I don't think there's enough room in one video for the second half of that. I think we're going to save that for next week. And we got some really crazy back-to-back -back week stuff going on. It's going to be interesting, so uh, keep up on the next few ones here. Um, I gave myself a cheap sheet. It's way too much stuff going on, man. It's been great. Um, so we left the beach in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, headed out to Charlotte, which is only like a three, three-and-a-half-hour drive. Um... That's where that video was in the hotel. I have not the been pool. in the garage. I've been doing then, this uh, stuff. We ended up going... Uh, you know what? Let's not even talk about it. I'm just going to skip to the video. And uh, it's pretty easy to guess where we are in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's just... It's car related. Hey! So we're on a field trip. We're not going to tell you what it is. But I can tell you, it's going to have cars. We're in the south. And, uh, yeah, this guy's excited, right? Yeah. Let's see what they got. Anyway, that was pretty cool. Um, while I'm talking, let's just play some little clips over here, some pictures. Um, it was pretty cool to see some of the toys they had, like, uh, um, frame jigs, and they had a bunch of suspension parts, engines, they had, uh, some little, I don't know if it was kid thing, but it seemed like it, uh, a little dyno room with a Toyota V8 in it out of a NASCAR, and you could, kids could, like, push the lever, and it would rev it up, and obviously it made car noises but it was not a gas engine i'm assuming it was hollowed out and it was just running on electric motor still pretty cool um a lot of history there and uh if you're ever in charlotte it's worth the 20 30 bucks whatever it was to go check it out it's kind of neat a lot of car stuff um i don't know there's still pictures playing over here maybe like that one um yeah by hands down my favorite car was right there that was super rad. Um, I like the old stuff. New stuff, eh, old stuff, pretty cool. Oh, by the way, check out this little uh, tidbit up here. Little aero uh, bumperette, little filler panels. That was pretty cool. I might incorporate that on something. I liked that was smooth. Um, you could see the evolution as they went to plastic cars, but that was pretty cool. Anyway, we left the uh, NASCAR Hall of Fame. And went to a friend of ours' uh, friend's shop. Um, I don't know the name of it as I film this. I don't remember. Super cool guy. Amazing cars. Pretty cool collection of stuff. Um, I'm gonna just going to put the name down here. I'm going to Google it. It's down here somewhere. Right there. Um, neat stuff. Uh, really high-end builds. Really quality stuff. Uh, this Camaro right there. Um... I'm guessing was over 100k. It was pretty epic. Uh, full pro touring looking LS, super cool. Um, from that, this little javelin right here, um, he was saying there's a possibility that that right there is gonna have a Hellcat drivetrain in it. That's awesome. Um, next up, I think is this uh, this little Mustang over here. Beautiful car once again. Uh, um, it's got like a Boss 302 motor in it, like a new style. Look how wide it is. So if you look over here, you can see that the uh, brake booster has no room. So they used a brake booster off a Bronco 
that's like lever actuated so that they've got more clearance. That was pretty awesome. Um, they had a, uh, just a cool little Buick here. That thing was pretty sweet. Um, I like low and long. We left there. We drove about seven hours um, to go camping. It's pretty rad. Uh, did some mountain biking. We um, ran into these guys right here. Um, pretty cool group of dudes. Random, random how they know each other. Uh, I went on this ride to full solo. I was beat by the time I met them, and uh, they were killing it. Um, they were from like mid Ohio. It's one guy was from North Carolina somewhere. They just meet up there and power through it. Super fun. Um, Raystown Lake, awesome place. Uh, camping is super clean, comfy. Um, the first night we got a one tent site and then we moved to another one and I sleep in a hammock. So we had to do a little bit of a hack because there was no trees in the second site. Normally I just hook off my roof rail to a tree. If you can see right here, we're going to just skim over real quick and I'll show you something. We had to tie off on a bare pole where you put your trash. Pretty ingenious. I didn't even come up with the tie down idea. That I have to say was a friend of mine. So just check this out real quick. I I don't can't believe I didn't think of that. That was pretty awesome. Uh, worked great. Kept the the hammock from sliding down. As simple as simple as a ratchet strap turned around on itself like a figure eight. Super cool. Um, as you can see in the video, I. Uh, didn't have anywhere to pin off my rain fly, so I just let it hang. I'll be honest, it worked really well that way. I mean, it's got a bug net in it, so it wasn't on me, and it, it whatever, man. It didn't rain, so it didn't matter. Um, yeah, and then let's just uh, let's finish this thing off with uh, some ridiculous carp down at the marina where we went canoeing. And uh, keep an eye open next week. It's going to get crazy. We uh, we made a little bit of a stop. I'm going to leave you in suspense for a week because I want you to watch the next video. Um, we went to the Columbus Good Guy Show, and there is a ton of cool stuff. That's a whole video in itself. So, next week. Cool car.